Well, that music certainly brightens up <laughs> your does, mood, right? Doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> well, that means it is time for Class Act, where we feature SoCal schools and what makes them so unique. Today, we want to take you to Magnolia Science Academy in Santa Ana. KCAL News reporter Jasmine Veal is there to show us around. And boy, you've got a you've got quite the crowd with you this morning. They're so adorable. <laughs> I do. I have the cheerleaders. I have the parents. I have the whole community here at Magnolia Science Academy in Santa Ana. So this is TK through the 12th grade, and they emphasize technology. But hey, they make room for the arts and cheer, right? Look at this. Look at this. The welcome that I receive. All that school spirit alive and well here on this campus, this beautiful campus. This is fourth grader Lulu. Um, why do you love cheer, and what else do you love about this school? Um, because you can get on stage and you can uh, dance a lot and you don't get shy anymore you smile more and you yeah you, you love to shine yeah. and you certainly yeah. do yeah i love yeah i love all kinds of things up here it I makes me it. happy and i'm sure the littlest ones look up to lulu as a fourth grader we also have fifth graders here this is the little team of mighty cheerleaders and we have ivana she is five years old ivana tell me why you love cheer because I like to dance and I like to sing and I like to play in recess. Well, we're going to see you dance in a few seconds here. So you guys get set up. They have a performance for us. We're going to be checking out robotics and their theater production. I'm going to talk to Coach Bianca over here as they get set up to do this performance. And Coach, a nice job. Uh, all these young people that look up to you, uh, how many cheerleaders do you have? We have about 40 cheerleaders all the way from TK to fifth grade. That is amazing. But you hope one day to do what? Well, I hope one day um, we bring cheerleaders yeah. to um, our secondary school. So for middle school, high school, a lot of these girls here at Magnolia Science Academy, Santa Ana, want to continue. So we hope to bring that in the future. And how often do you practice? We practice four times a week. Four times a yeah, week. Three. I know. And they're going to show it off right now. Okay. Hit the music. We're going to look at this group. that performance they've been practicing so hard all morning parents what do you think yeah. so proud of these little ones thank you coaches and assistant coach Maria as well uh, and they have sports they have volleyball we are also going to go ch check out get this this uh, weightlifting class with a very unique twist that involves involves some of the parents so that also is coming up as I send it back to you guys here from Magnolia Science Academy can I get another cheer yeah <laughs> oh, they are so, so cute. cute. Uh, they're so cute. I Jasmine. see future Laker girls. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Jasmine, thank you. I can't wait to see the parents coming <laughs> Me too. up a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, you, Jasmine, thank you so much. Students at Magnolia Science Academy in Santa Ana are showing us around their campus this morning as part of our Class Act series. It's been so much fun. STEM studies get a lot of attention at Magnolia, including robotics and even rockets. Wow. Yes. Our Jasmine Beal joins us live with more yeah. on a proposal students actually gave to NASA what? Jazz. Yeah. Well, we're going to hear all about it. Good morning, Jamie and Rachel. So we're now on the blacktop here at Magnolia Science Academy. We're learning about their and showcasing their sixth grade science explorer class. Right now, they're launching these rockets. I'm with their teacher, Mr. B, also apparently dresses up as a mad scientist for his students. Uh, OK, so tell me what these students are about to do here with these okay. little rockets. So this is my sixth grade science explorer class, a wonderful class. Students today will test the strobe rockets. So they will uh, be testing fin design, fin numbers, mass of the rocket, and the trajectory angle and its effect on the flight distance okay. of the rockets. Uh, students will be having a claim for each of uh, test item, and then they will collect evidence to support their claim. And then after then, we will come up with reasoning why or why not their claim is supported or not. I've already seen one go at least halfway across the blacktop here, the, you know, past the uh, half court line. All right, guys, Berlin, are you going to do it? Are you going to launch the rocket? Safety goggles are on. 
Okay. He has the honor. He, Mr. B just said, check the angle of the rocket. Let's see. Up to 20? Up to 20. 20. 20, 20 right. Okay. Oh, that was pretty good, Berlin. What do you think? It's with the wing shape and the trajectory of 30%. I really like how far it went. You sound like a NASA astronaut. Is this what you want to do when you grow up? Probably not. <laughs> what do you want to do? The Probably honesty. Be an artist or a oh. car builder, bodybuilder. Well, this is perfect because you're learning science, technology, and they also have the arts here. So you yes. must love it all. Yes. Nice. Uh, and you just had this uh, huge science fair I see behind you. And yes. what else do you love about it? It's really fun since we get to communicate and explore new things about um, our science projects and questioning more stuff. Tell me how much you love science, and I can see it right here. Berlin, good luck to you as a future artist. All right, we have Evan over here. He's going to talk about his hypothesis. Evan, which one's yours? Okay, what did you do really quick? So um, I was uh, measuring the, the, way, the amount of movement of um, the buildings when it came to an earthquake happening. Wow. So what I would do is I would put um, a little... Um, wait on it as a pendulum to act as if it were a pendulum. And let's see it. And um, I would just put Did it Did it work? Here. He's going to hook up the weight. So I would put it there. Okay. And then I would uh, shake it. Give it a good shake. And I would measure it by using a certain beat, a metronome. And um, the shaking amount would be measured as in um, there's a building in Taipei, the Taipei 101. Um, and it, that building is meant to be um, secure when it came to an earthquake. Right. So it would not fall. And the engineering behind it, Evan. Yeah. Yeah. And it was very secure. Or Ivan, I'm sorry, but yeah, it was. So yeah. you what yes, you did a good thing. Mm -hmm. I think that science project is great. And I want to introduce the dean, uh, Curtis Phillipson, the dean of students, really quickly. What do you want to say about this campus? Ah, well, actually. And I'll he's the pirate mascot as I, well. I, I am. <laughs> I, I'm so many things, but I'll tell you what. Most importantly, our campus is a proud partner of the Alliance for Healthier Generation, which are basically nine qualifying applications and awards that show everything from social emotional awareness to working with the community, parents, and most of all, making sure that everyone comes here happy and wants to come back again. Well, we were just in the parent weightlifting class, and I was very impressed uh, what I saw there in an old storage room that they converted into this weightlifting class. So we'll be back. We're headed into the theater production. I mean, uh, I think Curtis is already ready for that. Uh, and then we have <laughs> robotics as well. I'll send it back to you guys. Wow, wow. there's so much going on Arr, out there. Arr. 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 <laughs> Man of many hats. Yes, yes. Very much so, Do Jasmine. Many. Thank you. Jasmine, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> They are so talented, I'm telling you. So yeah, they have been practicing for us. This is just one of their musical production numbers. It's a mashup. I mean, we've heard Billie Eilish. Uh, oh, look at that. And I can even tell you, they've gone through several different artists already. Um, so this is the first grade through 12th grade that get to perform and learn everything from behind the scenes to from the, the props to this, to musical numbers and acting. And we have Melanie in the sixth grade. Um, you've been performing and doing theater since the second grade. What have you learned and what have you taken away? Um, I've learned a lot of stuff. Like I learned how to prep myself for musical theater and really it's just really awesome to be here you love it i can tell and you and i've heard what a star you've become playing these big roles now in these productions we have a sister duo as well over here and as and beautiful voices what do you love the most ellie um the thing that i love the most um i feel like almost like everything like everything, everything. yeah almost everything like the singing the dancing almost everything and this is your sister in the third yeah. grade and you've learned from your older sister yeah uh, so I like singing, dancing, it's like you can express yourself more if like you're shy and you can grow out of like, if you're sad, you can just grow out. Yeah, like yeah. Well said. Yeah. And you know what we said, this is Daria. As you're watching your friends perform, um, what, and what role, you, you play a royal, part of the royal family, right? I'm the royal princess. And I am preparing to be the queen. We said she looks like Millie. Who do we say? Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> Doesn't she look like Millie Bobby Brown? Beautiful. Good job. What do you love about theater? Um, me and my friend, we've been like friends for 12 years. Yeah. And when you guys have like a really close connection, it's like, 
it works so well together. You guys yeah. have so much emotion. And together to get that accomplishment, how proud you guys are when this production is done. I love the costume. This is the woman behind it all. <laughs> I know we, we, we kind of wrapped it up here, but wow, Ms. Barbara Weiner, you have background in Broadway, dance. Um, mm -hmm. what, what are you bringing to these kids now after nine years? Well, the feeling of a family the feeling of being able to do whatever they can do without being held back, improving their self-esteem and confidence. But I've been with Magnolia since for over nine years. And we started with the little group and the after-school program. Now it's evolved to we do two musicals a year. We have um, Romeo and Juliet. We're doing a Shakespeare festival May 30th. And a lot of these kids, or some of them, are in my school over at Lake Forest, the Performers Academy, where we help them to get agents. And we have a huge glee choir where we have over 180 students. This is amazing. The experience that you can bring to this school and this, these students, I'm blown away. Ms. Weiner, thank you. I could keep thank chatting. You. I know we wish we had more time. Yeah. I mean, there is so much talent packed in this room. You guys, thank you so much. Is there, who is this oh, artist God. performing now? I can't, I'm so bad at this. this. We've heard Billie Eilish and. That was, Billie Eilish was the first yeah. one, yeah. but this is another artist. Yeah, it's I fantastic. Love it. so Look at her. Jasmine, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, there we go. Are, Take a bow, you guys. These kids are I'll amazing. I'll send it back to you. Great thank job. Thank you. Great. Aww. Yes, we, round of applause. They just had. And now to our class act. We are hanging out at Magnolia Science Academy in Santa Ana this morning. Yeah, Jasmine Veal there live with a look at how the students are raising the bar in robotics. Jasmine, we've seen those, robotic, those robots that are running, but hey, these <laughs> kids are creating something even bigger than that. Yeah, look at how impressive this uh, campus is. We are here. You, you said it, Magnolia Science Academy in Santa Ana, and they are playing soccer now. This is an award-winning robotics team at the elementary level. This school is TK through the 12th grade, and these students have access to so much here and such talented teachers and professors uh, giving them this hands-on experience. Nice job, you guys. So this is the elementary side. We're going to move over here to the high school side to show you also how they they have not only won nationals, but world championships with this robotics team. Here, it's all about steam, and look at this. I'm even going to try my hand. I, I've been given permission to try to control one of these robots using AI technology. Hello, lady Lupita. Uh, what do you love about robotics? So one thing that I love mostly about robotics is the, the thinking skills that we have to have. So often we have to think quickly and act quickly and that actually helps us pretty a lot in the future. And home of the pirates, home of the pro pirates, <laughs> that school spirit. We've seen it all morning from the cheer team to even here. Yeah. Wow, look at that guy. See, <laughs> that's some talent. What do you yeah. love? And I love women in science, you know? Yeah, um, I really love robotics in general. I learned so much of yeah. it. It's not only contributed to my life here working as a teammate and as a group, but also my social life outside. It just shows how much I could apply it into my outside life with socializing and applying these to my, like with teams and trying to create an overall better robot. Yeah, Ariana, and what grade are you in? I'm a senior. Okay, and congratulations, you just won nationals? Yes, we did, we won nationals recently, yeah. and now we will be going to World in two weeks from now. Woo. Good luck. Okay, gentlemen, it is my turn. You're gonna give me the controls. Albert, thank you. Now, you make it look easy. This is the one I'm controlling, and the goal is to pick up the rings, obviously, and put them on. Okay, yeah, that's I'll not going to happen. I can. Oh, hello, a little spin. Okay, go. No. Oh, go for. See, forward is backward. Uh oh. I hope these are not expensive robots. Oh, okay. It's not bumper cars. It's not bumper robots. You take that, Albert. What do you love so much? This is not how you got to the championships. But what do you love so much about the robots? And, and um, robotics in general. It's just the, the building and driving, and you have a team. It's nice. You get to build together, have a fun time. And we had this old robot here. It was oh, the old robot. So we <laughs> went ahead and made a nice new one. It's very fast, it agile. Fast. <laughs> yeah, and it scores nicely. <laughs> it is agile, I will say. It's like the slightest touch just spins it into yeah. a frenzy. Yes. My so, yeah, what about you? Uh, my name is Habit. Uh, this is one of the robots that qualified to the world champions for the Vex V5. The one I just dinged up? Okay. 
Ah, don't <laughs> worry. Fix yeah. Don't worry <laughs> this is one of the robots, but uh, yesterday, actually, we won uh, the championship at Caltech University. So now we are going to Worlds for AI, artificial oh, intelligence. Pick up a ring. And you're going, and with AI technology, you AI won. AI technology, that. yes, ma'am. Now you're going to Worlds. Now we're going to Worlds two times. Okay. Yes. There's no AI. Yeah, you like got to show us how you made it to Worlds and National, so, and one National. Wow, look at how fast you are. Are you kidding me? Wow. That is, that is impressive. Yes, it's all controlled through the cars. Wow. I can see how you guys have a lot of fun with this as well. Yeah, it's quite fun. Just at the just building. flipping these rings over and the adrenaline must be, quite, you know, going when you have these competitions. Yeah. Yeah. It quite frankly is. Just that there's a lot of teamwork that involved with it because you don't, where it's not just a two robot team. It's one robot for the V5 and then you get alliance with another team. So there has their strategy in it as well. I love that. Like, you come over here. You better show me how you can do this before I send it back to Chris and Amy. Come over here and show me how you work these robots. I want I want the women to show off their skills. Uh huh. They can't hog the controls, the remotes, the whole time. Very impressive. So again, and when we seen robotics, we saw the sixth grade uh, science explorer team launching um, rockets into the air on the playground. I mean, I've been blown away from the theater. They have it all here, Chris and Amy. Ooh, nice job. Look at them go, these women in science. I'll send it back to you guys live here from Santa Ana, Magnolia Science Academy. Thank you guys so much for having me and letting me, you know, try some hands-on experience here. How send it back fun. to you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun.